down the line for president. I recently took over as board president, and the basic responsibilities is to ensure that our mission, as well as the organization's goal, are met, and helps to really promote what we're for, what our cause is, which is gay pride and the celebration of our community. Gladys Hayes, first vice president. politics and also in the gay community. I was a Miss Gay Pride in 1987. We celebrate our 25th anniversary uh, as the Mr. Miss and Miss Gay Pride. I sit on that board. Basically, now that I've retired, I sit on the board. I've been involved in politics since 1968, running for office. It's the first vice president to do what the president tells me. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and then you, then you fill in if she isn't there. The board was gracious enough this year to, having served three times before as a great chair, I will be chairing this year's Gay Pride Parade for the fourth time. Arlene Patterson, second vice president. Um, I am on the uh, council for Mr. Ms. Ms. Gay Pride as well. Um, I'm a food product and prop stylist when I'm not doing this. And um, aspiring filmmaker. And I'm a second vice chair, and like Gladys says, we do what she says. <laughs> <laughs> or we talk about it yeah. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Last year at the festival, and yeah, years before, too, I was like, we need more food. We need more food. No matter what happens, I'm going to get, get more food. So here I am, so I'm getting food. I'm okay. responsible for the food vendors, and that's. Um, and uh, the Friday night event, and I got the stars on the other things in Vaughn. We're going to have a miniature golf tournament and a barbecue. Leonard Adams, treasurer. I'm the money man. That's the man. All right. I'm the fiscal responsible person. I take, you know, they ask Very seriously. me. <laughs> they ask me how much money we have, and I said, how much do you want to spend? And then, Checking account, write the checks, pay the bill. Take care of the taxes. Taxes. Joanne Gibo, secretary. Um, I volunteered, and um, I wasn't in the first meeting, so they made me secretary. <laughs> I take the minutes of meetings. Obviously, that's my my primary job. But other than that, I just try to keep up with what everybody's doing. Because um, everybody calls me and asks me questions about what everybody else is doing. So um, I uh, monitor Facebook and read all the emails. I'm also chairing the uh, charity walk, the Food Safe Parades, um, and uh, I'm in charge of security at the festival. I think what this board has started to do is bring back the continuity and the unity of our community back to what it used to be. We're working really hard on establishing that Hawaii is unique from the rest of the different sides all over the U.S. First off is the food, the people, the entertainment that we're getting, um, which I'm very pleased to announce that we are having Napa Napa Lai, the Hokupano Hano Award winners. Um, they're going to be our headliners this year. Um, it's all of our volunteers that work so hard on everything from the planning stage all the way to cleaning up on the day after Pride that really makes us really unique. It's this war that really makes us unique because everybody contributes. It's not any type of one person's goal to do anything personally for themselves. Every single one of us on the board does it because we're doing it for our community and we are all former gay pride. You know, we all have the title and something that we're proud to be in our community. Pride. For me, I think it stands for being happy to be what I am. I believe I'm the only transgender individual in our community that has ever took the initiative or even volunteered my time to give back to my community um, in the sense of doing an event such as this. 
um, at this type of level. Um, there's, I believe pride in all of us when it comes down to, you know, being proud of who we are, where we come from, and what we have to offer as this people. I have four children and just celebrated a wonderful Mother's Day. I've lived on both sides of the street and uh, they're both complicated. <laughs> yeah, none, none is any easier than the other. And so when I did uh, become gay and I was 38 years old, uh, I uh, said that uh, I should give back something. They, at that time, were struggling and they needed support. And so I threw my energies in, into that. And I never hid the fact when I was campaigning that I was gay. And nobody ever threw it at me. I don't think they dare, the kids at all. <laughs> and uh, it's been a wonderful experience for me. And that is why I serve the straight men the gay community. Um, I think, like Tiana, I think it's self respect to be able to hold your head up high and be happy with who you are at the time. I think, you know, you're always growing and always changing. But, um, and it's a hard thing to do when you're growing up gay, lesbian ever a minority period and um, I, I love that in our community we have an opportunity to show our pride once a year and everybody come out and be themselves and it's uh, freedom. I really didn't, well my late partner and I really didn't do anything until we moved to Hawaii and we retired moved to Hawaii and then we got involved in the center and we got involved in, in the pride parade and that was when I first, my first parade was really there when it made me proud of who I am. I, I'm gay, and my partner was gay, and we had a great life together. And I just, I, I just, now I, I feel very proud of who I am. And I, people have accepted me for who I am. But I don't go around and flaunt my sexuality. Ask me, are you gay? I say, yes, I am. But I'm very proud of who I am. And being with, you know, being with these people here, and that makes me even more proud. And we're working very hard to make a very successful festival parade. Uh, pride to me is is really, I mean, it's just about being proud, I'm proud of who I am, and uh, and where I came from, and uh, how I got here. And it was difficult growing up. Being a kid, and um, uh, I like the fact that um, you know that we're out here uh, doing all these things out in the public um, and raising awareness. Um, you know that we exist, um, and uh, you know uh, be, we're showing people that we're just people. You know we're just regular people.